Okay, this is the Game is on 100 here with a video. And this video, I'm going to be talking about the NFL Top 100 Players list of 213. The numbers uh, 30 through 21. Uh, let's get started. As it being released from the NFL's Top 100 Players list, um, from 30 to 20 on, 30 to 21, they have. Uh, four wide receivers on the list. They had Brandon Marshall, Julio Jones, Larry Fitzgerald, and Reggie Wayne. I have a problem with those four in that uh, order for the 100 players list. Brandon Marshall at 27, Julio Jones at 26, Larry Fitzgerald at 22, and Reggie Wayne at number 21. I was checking out the stats on these players. And one player that had better stats was Brandon Marshall. I am very pissed off with this list. Um, the, the players pick these players who are the top 100 players of 2013. Brandon Marshall should be higher than those other three wide receivers on the list. Because the Bears last year, the only receiver that we had was Brandon Marshall. Brandon Marshall was the Bears offense. I just don't understand why this NFL Top 100 players list. I am very pissed off about this. Brandon Marshall should be ahead of Julio Jones, Larry Fitzgerald, and Reggie Wayne. As it says for the stats, for Brandon Marshall last year with the Bears, he played all 16 games. He had 118 catches. Personal best, 1,508 yards. His best. Averaged 94.3 yards a game. Averaged 12.8 yards per catch. He had 7 100 receiving yard games and 11 touchdowns. Julio Jones. Hey, he played 16 games. He has 79 catches for 1,198 yards. Average of 74.9 yards a game. Average of 15.2. He had four 100-yard games and with 10 touchdowns. Larry Fitzgerald. Even though they didn't have a pivotal offense last year, Larry Fitzgerald played 16 games. He has 71 catches for 798 yards. Average 49.9. Yards a game, average 11.2 yards a catch. He had two 100-yard games and four touchdowns. Reggie Wayne. Reggie Wayne had 106 receptions, played 16 games. He had 1,355 yards, 84.7 yards a game, average of 12.8 yards a catch. He had three 100-yard games and five touchdowns. I just can't understand this. I know the players. This is their list. I am very pissed off with this list. Brandon Marshall should be way above those other three wide receivers on this list. Because Brandon Marshall had a good year last year with the Bears. He had his best year as a receiver. He had, for the past six straight years, he's gotten over a 1,000 yards receiving the past six years. He should have been on the list last year on the NFL's top 100 players list, but he wasn't on the list. This year, he's on the list. Like he was in 2010 when they started it, he was on the list. I want you to look at these stats and you can see for yourself. I will post links in the description box for the stats with these four players. That you can have a look at. And. By how this means. Brandon Marshall should be much higher on the list. Even though. Brandon Marshall should be higher on this list. He had a much higher. Yard, yards per game, catch a game. Brandon Marshall was the whole entire Bears offense. I just can't believe this. 
Brandon Marshall should be higher above these other wide receivers. Brandon Marshall should be in the top of the players list. Well, anyways, that is my uh, rant on this. I am very pissed off with this list. Brandon Marshall should be in the top 10 on NFL's top 100 players list. He should be in the top. Brandon Marshall behind Julio Jones, Larry Fitzgerald, and Reggie Wayne. That is just unacceptable in my opinion. I want you to give you guys comments, uh, your opinions on this. I am pissed off with this, that Brandon Marshall is number 27 on NFL's top 100 players list. He should be in the top 10, but that's not... Let you guys what you guys think. I will post links.